This is Ryan reporting for MMA Viking. I'm here with Marshall Zelesnik, the man of many titles. Uh, I, yeah, I've seen your business card before. I know it's like two or three. Um, UK. I'm like the, uh, the mayor, the judge, the sheriff in the small town. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, good, good to see you tonight and welcome to Sweden. Thank you, it was great. Yeah, yeah, did you have a good time tonight? Loved it, it was the best. Yeah, I mean, the crowd was fantastic. We were just saying to someone, you know, the crowd in Rio, you know, was off the charts, but I think pound for pound, and certainly in terms of total decibels, I think this crowd might have rivaled the Rio crowd. Yeah, yeah, and it's surprising if you've ever been to another Swedish event, MMA events, it's usually very quiet, and I say it's like pride asking tonight. I think it's the UFC brand brings something a little yeah. extra that kind of took us so. to the next level. Yeah, there are moments within fights where you'll hear, you know, sort of quiet during the fight. You yeah, know, yeah, the crowd yeah. is intently watching, but here the crowd, yeah. if there were those moments, they started to clap, they started to cheer, something was happening. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I thought that was really impressive. It was great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Surprising, I think, for a lot of a lot of people here, and I know. Um, at, the guest estimate, best estimate was like even up to a thousand people came from Finland and that's my transition to talk about. Uh, I wanted to ask you about Finland as, as a market now that you've seen what's happened here in Sweden. Can you talk about um, just the outlook for Finland and any experience you've had in sure. actually scouting for an event there? Yeah, so um, we looked at the ticket report first of all for the day and while I don't have an exact number, Finland kept appearing in the list. We're going to collate it now and figure out what okay. it all means. But I think there were a lot of things here. Um, you know, interestingly enough, if you asked about it, we were actually in Finland. I was in Helsinki. I looked at two of the arenas there. I can't remember their names. The Wallen, man, that's not Wallen. It's another name. Um, probably three years ago, about maybe a little bit less, we were there looking at an option. Um, and I think based on the success of this event and knowing how many Finns came to the event and knowing that, that this region is uh, very fertile, it feels like. Uh, I was answering a question earlier. Finland was the first country that popped into my mind, you know, after Italy, when we talk about new expansion yeah, in yeah. Europe. So I think Finland um, is right up there. In fact, I met the owner of one of the arenas here today. Um, I can't remember the name of the arena, but he was From here. From Finland, that came today. Okay. He was here. He's owned the arena for I think ten or twelve years. He said, and he remembered our visit. We talked about it, and okay. he was saying, "You need to come. You need to come." So was back on our attention. Great, great. Well, I think uh, the Nordic fans would really look forward to an event there, and I think based on tonight, uh, you have a lot of proof on just the popularity uh, yes. of the MMA and the Nordics. Yeah, it's very impressive. You know, every time I walk to the host hotel or around town, and I don't get recognized, but for whatever reason, I was being recognized. It was a little strange, actually. <laughs> but um, it just goes to show you, you know, their appetite for it. They're even willing to look at something that I might be in. So I think it's pretty funny. <laughs> Very good. Well, congratulations on tonight's events and uh, the, the Swedish media want to thank you for, for coming. Thank you. It was our pleasure. Thanks. Thanks very much. All right, guys. Thank you.